Hey you guys, happy Thursday. <laughs> This is probably gonna be a really, really short vlog because I just been um getting important things together, like doctor's appointments and everything lined up for me. Um, I got a call yesterday uh, from the company that is putting my wheelchair together, and basically they were like, "Well, you can't get your chair without your insurance approving it, and in order for ins the insurance to approve it, you have to go to the doctor and get a doctor to say, okay, yeah." To me, I need this chair. So I had to get uh, an appointment lined up. You guys, I haven't been to the doctor in about a year and a half, almost two years. So basically, I had to find a whole new doctor and then make an appointment and um, get all that straightened out. That kind of pushes back my whole wheelchair process. So I probably won't be getting my wheelchair until uh, March. Yes, honey, yes, I love these uh, donuts. Oh my gosh, mmm, donut. Look how it glistens in the light. This is so gonna look good in my stomach right now. Anyway, I'm not gonna say this has been bothering me, but yesterday, when Derek and I went, went out to take care of some things uh, at the bank, of course we had to ride public transportation when we were on the bus. And so when I got on the bus, a lady got on behind me and saw that I had my clutch purse, the strap, I mean, on my controller, my wheelchair, it was wrapped around my controller. And she thought, I guess, you know, if my clutch falls, then my chair will go nuts and I'll start running into things. I, I don't know why she thought that, but yeah, she was like, you might want to move that out the way. She was a really nice lady. Then she went, proceeded to go sit down and as she sat down, she was telling me about a guy she used to take care of because I guess she was a home health nurse. And she said that um, something happened to where his chair had got out of control and he wasn't able to regain control. And But a guy on the bus just randomly was like, I thank God every day that I don't have to be in one of those things. I sat in the front, I was like, I was kind of baffled as to why he would say that. I laughed, but I was kind of shocked. Like, why the heck would you say something like that? And I don't know what the lady did. Cause she was behind me, but she was quiet. And I don't know if she just nodded her head or just looked at him like he was freaking nuts. And my question is, why is it that people, when they see people in wheelchairs or with any kind of disability, it's automatically they think like it's a bad thing. I mean, it is disheartening seeing somebody disabled, I guess. But from my perspective, I don't see it as anything bad. I see it as me being put on this earth the way that I am for a reason. And so I don't see it as me suffering. I don't see it as anything bad. Because, you know, I can do whatever I want to do. Yes, I roll around on wheels. True that. But I can do whatever I want to do. I can drive if I want to. I have to have adapt adaptive uh, equipment. I can do that. I went to school and I can get a job. See, I'm those type of people with disabilities that don't like to sit around and go, oh, whoa, it's me. I have a disability. I can't do anything because my mama didn't raise me like that because she has a disability herself. And so with him making that statement like that, it just made me kind of angry a little bit. Not too angry, but it just made me be like, well, what the hell? <laughs> Look at her fat face, y'all. She's so freaking fat, but cute and fluffy. She look like, call me fat one more time. My fat kitty. You look so fluffy. Fluffy kitty. 